I'm Minnie Rowe. Nothing beats the cold of old man winter than a thick wool coat. This may look like it's made with the finest merino wool, but actually not a single animal was used to make this coat. Instead, this is all recycled and organic fibers. It's a revolutionary concept, one that could create a new standard in the fashion industry. Humans have always used animal skin, feather, and fur for clothing and outerwear. From prehistoric times, when people wore them out of necessity to survive, to present day, where it's coveted for its warmth and luxurious qualities. If you wear a fur coat, you're wearing 40 animals, 40 lives per coat. Leanne Maley Hilgard is an avid animal rights supporter and is trying to change the mindset of shoppers everywhere. She created Vote, the world's first vegan outerwear, in an effort to create a coat which was stylish enough to go from day into night, warm enough to withstand the bitter cold winters of Chicago where she grew up, and entirely animal-free to align with her beliefs. Hilgard is a strict vegan, meaning she doesn't consume any animal products like meat, eggs, fish, or dairy. No one's really reinvented the winter dress coat, and I would see people who like were in Chicago, terribly cold. They'd either choose to wear a hiking or ski coat, you know, over their dress, over their work clothes. Could I make a dressy winter coat that was also stylish, but warm enough for Chicago winter? You know, it could create a positive impact as a business, and it could also then tell the world we don't have to wear animals. The name Vote comes from combining V for vegan and Oat, as in Haute Couture, or high fashion. Hilgard says every time you wear a vote coat, you are casting a vote for animal rights. The way we've been taught to shop isn't sustainable for the earth, and it's not sustainable for an industry that is, you know, looking at animals as machinery, as cogs. That's why we end up with bad treatment and conditions for animals that are used and raised and killed for their bodies, is just because it's an industry where everyone's competing on price. My mission is to take animals out of the fashion equation, to take them out of the business equation, because living beings are not machine parts. Hilgard was modeling in Asia when she came up with the concept for Vote. She put everything on the line to pursue her dream. Even though I didn't know how, and I didn't have a background in fashion, and I can't sew, and we didn't have, I didn't have outside investors, it was the bottom of the recession. I had never even been in a factory, like a cut and sew factory, like I had no clue. But I did know that I had a very strange combination of loving fashion, loving creating art, and wanting to speak up for animals. And that if I could combine those things in a way that could serve the world, then, you know, I could make something that could do my part. So she gave up her Ford modeling contract, a full-ride MBA at DePaul University, and plunged headfirst into 80-hour work weeks to develop and pioneer the first vegan outerwear line. I also kind of thought people were gonna think I'm crazy. If I explain it's vegan outerwear, people are like, and people said, like, you can eat it? Like, what does that mean? Her coats are made from innovative textiles like Primaloft, which Arctic explorers and NASA astronauts wear. Recycled plastic bottles salvaged from landfills and organic fibers spun from plants like cotton, hemp, and soy. Every coat she sells is made right here in the United States in factories that provide a living wage for its workers. Artisans who are responsible for creating an entire coat as opposed to an assembly line method typically found in sweatshops. This is the Emily. And uh, yeah, this has the um, zipper as well as a zip off hood. Christiana is a longtime Vote customer and a model who loves the slimming style and classic look of the Vote pieces. But she especially loves it because she says it makes her feel like she's making a tangible difference in the world. Like, I feel like it's a fashion brand that's bigger than us with a message, if it makes any sense. So when I, when I wear it, I know I'm casting a vote to something that's important for humanity. Humanity aside, how well does the vote coat work? We brought them here to minus five experience, where the temperature that day was a frigid 18 degrees Fahrenheit inside the frozen room and compared it against my own wool coat. All right, so I was in there for about 15 minutes and it's super cold in my coat. So now I'm gonna try on Leanne's coat and see how that one works out. Hi, here I go. 
Now, this is by no means a scientific test. Inside minus five experience, there is no humidity and no wind, so it's not quite like being in the outdoors. Not to mention, feeling cold is purely subjective. After a while, I definitely began to feel the chill in certain parts of my body. I don't want to move. I'm getting a little cold. 15 minutes later, I think that this coat works really well because my core is very warm. The only place where I'm feeling a little cold is right in my legs and a little bit of my arm. I also tried on the Lincoln, which looks more like a traditional down-filled long coat. Full length insulated. Okay. Um, A-line. I could tell the difference almost immediately. This is warm. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely warm. Like most pioneers, Hilgard had her share of skeptics in the industry when she first launched her line. When I first said, you know, I have a vegan fashion line, some people in the fashion industry wouldn't even look at it. Just hearing that, they would be like, not for us, sorry. And they wouldn't even want to see what it looked like. Now, in its ninth year, she is making tracks in the fashion industry, building up a loyal following. Celebrities are also starting to embrace her line, and accolades are pouring in. Hilgard hopes to revolutionize the entire fashion culture, one coat at a time. The market is no longer, how many vegans want a beautiful winter coat? The market is now, how many people live in cold cities who want to look stylish and be warm at the same time? I'm Minnie Rowe for Asian American Life.